All right, Miles, obviously not the outcome that you wanted, but what do you take away from your seventh game in 11 days, I think? <laughs> uh, take away that our guys are really tired, um, but they fight really hard each and every night. We just go through some scoring droughts at times, um, which really hurts us. I mean, in the second half tonight, I really loved our effort. Uh, we didn't turn the ball over. We got good shots for the most part. We played the Knicks even in the second half, where I think we won it by one. Um, but it's it's a matter of trying to have more of a sustained effort uh, for the 40 minutes. Fonte's had a good couple of weeks, but his off offensive efficiency, especially tonight, what stood out to you about him? Devontae comes in and just does his job each and every night. He's, he's a great rebounder. Um, he rolls to the basket. He's a good finisher around the basket. Um, he, he defends. He defends each and every time. He's physical and he's very athletic. And that's a guy that can find a place in the NBA because he's willing to accept what he is. He, he doesn't try, even though he's kind of an undersized guy, he's not out there trying to shoot threes and show that he's a perimeter guy. He does his job. He's willing to do all the dirty work. And you know that's, I think, one of the reasons why we, we signed him yesterday. And I'm, I'm really glad to have him. And been coaching him this past two weeks has been, uh, been a pleasure. You've kept it a lot in perspective, given how many days you guys have played and in such a short amount of time. What's been the toughest part for you in terms of making sure that you're getting the most out of these guys? I know it's summer league and you're, you're expected to compete, but it's still tough. You kept that in perspective. Yeah, I, I really, I've been with, with the way our team is. It's These guys are a lot of free agents, except for Zach Norvell, who is a two-way. Um, and I've been in their shoes and Kobe Carl's been in their shoes. I played in four or five summer leagues uh, as a free agent. Kobe Carl played in five or six summer leagues. And so I know the pressure that some of these guys are putting on themselves to perform every night. And I really just try to push them to have fun, relax, uh, and then just play hard and kind of just, just try to be as loose as possible out there because they're, fight, they're, they're, they're truly they're fighting for their lives, their livelihood. Some of these guys have families to take care of and they don't know where necessarily their next paycheck is coming from yet. And that's a lot of pressure and it's not easy uh, it's not an easy thing to deal with, and so I try to ease their nerves as, as best as possible and put them in the best positions to keep showing the best of themselves for all the people that are still watching them. I had a chance to catch up with Coach Vogel before the game. He sung your praise and the work you've done here in Summer League. He's excited to have you on board moving forward. What's that relationship been like for you and him? Uh, it's been great so far. Um, obviously, I'm the only guy, only person that's returning from last year's staff. And just being able to get to know him and pick his brain uh, every once in a while over this past six weeks or so has been tremendous. And I can't wait to, to really start digging in once the, once the fall hits. Um, I know he's a great he's a great basketball mind, and he he's allowed the assistant coaches, myself included, right now to just kind of have some input, especially in the summer league uh, with the offseason workouts. And I, I honestly just can't wait to get started with uh, with our group that we have coming back in the fall. Miles, how hard is it at times to impress upon these guys that? It's okay to make mistakes and it's going to happen because that's what they have to learn from. They're not going to come in and do what they've been doing in college. Is it, is it hard to get into their mental game and to make them understand that? Um, we have what like a lot of coaches would say, a next play mentality. So um, just asking them to limit their mistakes, uh, try to learn from their mistakes. We have coaches assigned to every player in summer league to show them film after the games of ways that they can get better and then they can take those things on into, into the next game. And I think we've shown, even though the, the results, the wins and losses haven't been what we've wanted here, we have definitely seen individual improvement um, towards the professional game for, for nearly everybody on the roster.